So what I'm going to do is add this clip to the timeline. Now this plus here means put this on the timeline and it does a little animation. And even though you don't see the, the effect applied to the clip here, you'll see that it is actually applied in the viewer here. So I'm going to just play it and here it is again. And then what I can do is add this clip. So I can click plus. And here we are with two foot clips, the same clip twice, but with different effects applied to it. Cool. So now what I can do, um, like in most editing software, is I can change the length of the clips. So in other words, I can make it so that this finishes early or that happens late. So then I'll play it again. But um, also, like in the previous version of iMovie and also in the current version of Final Cut Pro 10, there's also a thing called the Precision Editor. If I double click the point between two clips, I can then do more precise control over the clips. I can uh, make it so that this happens slightly later. This comes in earlier. This will probably be clear if I use a different kind of clip. So what I'm going to do is kind of close the Precision Editor by clicking close position editor and then add this clip of the tube train from the other view and put it onto the timeline so i'm going to oh, do it this way i'd selected it all by dragging over it and now i've got the hand tool which means i can choose whether to um, add, the, add it to the timeline here or like in other editing software put it over here so of course what i've done now is it didn't want to do that so i'm going to change the zoom scale here this makes it easier for me to do that. But either put that here or put that here. And as I'm not using all this clip here, I can double click on the position editor. And say, for example, as you can see, we have the water and we go into the splash water and then we go to a train. So different kinds of movement. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, it doesn't make much sense. It's just, this is just what was on my phone and I haven't actually got around to deleting it yet. So what I'm going to do in order to make these this di direction work properly is I can select this clip here. It's still I still am able to use the adjust controls and I'm going to add the video effect of flipping it horizontally. So now things seem to go in the right direction. So this is if the tube train I'm looking at of suddenly is now going along the water. At least that's the way I see it. So as you can see here, there are various controls available to clips. I can reduce the volume level of a clip by just dragging up and down here. And also I can control whether the audio fades in or out at this stage here. I can now show you the precision editor in terms of double clicking here. And then I can choose whether the at what point I should cut to the train as it's going into the station. And essentially, I can make it so I start later. Or show the, the clip from the train earlier. So when it's starting to appear. So I could say, okay, I want when I cut to it for the train to be, be partially visible. So I can do, I'm going to do play from here. I'm going to press the space bar to play. Ah, sorry, of course, I have to leave the position editor. It was just showing the current clip. So I'm just going to do that. I think that was me clearing my, clear my throat while actually on the uh, using the iPhone. So I guess you can't hear the clip, but I can. So I'm just going to go back a bit. Cool. So in iMovie, you can uh, add clips. You can add effects in terms of uh, flipping a shot like this. Or you can rasterize it. You can do these other effects. So I click video effect here. It looks like a pop-up menu, but it isn't a pop-up menu. It's a kind of button that allows you to, to add effects. But as you can see, say for example, I want to add this dream effect to this clip. I can't flip it and add the dream effect. So I kind of have to choose which one I'm going to do. So that is a limitation in iMovie as well.